Hello, welcome to the fourth edition of our Lenti Reflections with Venerable Dr. Tunde Yusuf. This episode promises to be life transforming and life changing. Do enjoy. Hello, beloved. This is day two of our walk in repentance. That for us, this land, the call from God to us is that we walk in repentance. The reason why our world is the way it is today is because we are having less and less people who are repenting of their sins. And like we said yesterday, repentance is a change of heart that can only happen when God creates in you a clean heart. There is no religiosity that can bring about repentance. There is no self-righteousness that brings about repentance. Repentance is an act of accepting your sin, your shortcomings, your rebellion. It's a point of accepting that we are falling short of the glory of God. And when we do that, we deliberately and consciously choose to turn from our evil ways. And this is the call of God to us. This land, a call to repentance and a walk with Jesus. A call to repentance and a walk of life with Jesus. And th 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 today we begin uh, on the second day of, 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 of Lent. We begin with a series of looking at the Gospel of John. And we'll be commencing from uh, chapter 3 of the Gospel of John. Because we are persons who want to deliberately walk in the righteousness of God, in the holiness of God, in the godliness of God, we have chosen that the Lord will guide us in understanding that in Christ Jesus is the righteousness of God personified. And we read in John chapter 3, in John chapter 3, from verse 1, we read the word of the Lord says to us, Now there was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jew. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, you know that you are a teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered, truly, truly I say to you, unless one be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can this, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say to you, unless a man be born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Beloved, it's, it's interesting to note that the man in question that came to Jesus, Nicodemus, is a ruler, a ruler, the high priest, a high priest of the Jewish order, coming to Jesus 
And, and, and it's instructive, his position, who he is, his identity, it is something that tells us a lot. That coming to Jesus is not about your religiosity. Coming to repentance is not about who you are as an elder in the church, a deacon in the church, a PCC member in the church. That's not what we are talking about. We're talking about a deliberate acknowledgement of your position. And this Jewish leader acknowledged his position. His position as a sinner, he seemed to have acknowledged it. But the first thing we notice is that even when we thought that he has actually acknowledged his position as a sinner, what he seemed to be acknowledging is the good work of Jesus Christ. Because this man came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, so he regarded him as a teacher. And for many persons in our church today, and even for many persons who partake in the Lent that you and I are partaking of today, for many of them, it is a religious activity. For many of them, they still see Jesus as a good teacher. For some, they see Jesus as a miracle walker. And, and, and that, that's, that's the acknowledgement of Nicodemus. Nicodemus said that you are a teacher that came from God. That Jesus, yes, he has come from God, but just a teacher. A teacher. And, and, and he is actually, Jesus is a teacher. Jesus is the son of God. He came from God, but he is more than that. He is not just a teacher. He is not just from God. He is the son of the living God. And, and, and the word of Nicodemus were true. And he says, Jesus and the signs that accompany Jesus shows that he is from God. And oftentimes, many of us, how often it is that many of us are attracted to Jesus just by the sign. It is the sign that brings us to him. It is the bread that brings us to him. It is the wine. Because you notice in chapter 2, Jesus has done a miracle. I sense that Nicodemus was at the, at the converting of water into wine. And he heard that people, uh, the news of Jesus had spread, that he had done many wonders. He had, he had done many healing, starting from the wedding in Canaan. And the news had spread and he said, no one could do this except God. Using his vessel and the person of Jesus, using his son. That, that's what Nicodemus was saying. But Jesus bust his bubble. May I plead with you today to allow Jesus to bust your bubble? Can you allow Jesus to tell you the truth? Because the word of the Lord says, Jesus said, truly, truly, most sincerely, most assuredly, the Lord is speaking to us, beloved. It is not religiosity. No, it is not that you are a member of the Jewish order. That is not. We are not talking about you being a deacon in your church. We are not talking about you having the giftings of the Holy Spirit. That's not what we are talking about. The question we are asking on this second day of Lent is that are you born again? Jesus said, unless... Truly, truly, I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And, and, and this brings to us two things. Number one is the need to be born again. And you remember yesterday we said that to be born again requires repentance. If you will come to the Lord, if the Lord will call you his own, if you will call, if you will be called the, the belonging to Jesus, our Lord and Savior, if you will get a new life, there is a need, there is a need, beloved, there is a need, brother, there is a need, sister, to be born again. 
To be born again is to repent of all, all your sins. To be born again is not just only to acknowledge Jesus as your Lord, as a good teacher, as the miracle worker, as the one who healed you when you were sick, as the one who provided for you when you were in need. That's not just it. There is, an, there is a need for an acknowledgement that this heart of mine is wicked and needs transformation. That is why the psalmist David called out to God in Psalm 51 verse 10. He says, create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord. And I sense that that was what Nicodemus was in need of, a clean heart. And he needed to be born again. And you see, for you to see God, for you to see the kingdom, and that, that's the second part. He said, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You cannot be part of the kingdom of God. You cannot be enlisted into the army of God. You might partake of the miracle, the goodness. The goodness of God are upon all his creation. But the kingdom citizenship, the kingdom recruitment, the kingdom uh, the, 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 the kingdom gift that God gives to those who repent and put their trust in him is given only to those who are born again. But you see, Nicodemus had a problem. He said, how can this happen? And, and, and that will be our subject of discussion tomorrow. But listen to me, beloved. We're not talking about your religion. We're not talking about your being in church. We're not talking about you praying for six hours. We're not talking about you fasting. We're not talking about you seeing vision. We're talking about a life of being born again, accepting the authority of Jesus Christ, accepting how Jesus, the description that Jesus gave about your, the condition of your heart. And the human heart is sinful. And that is what the Lord tells us, that you and I need to surrender. You and I need to come and say, Lord, create in me a clean heart. And that is the precondition to walk with Jesus Christ. Without a heart that is transformed, without a heart, oh, without a heart transplant, beloved, it's difficult, it's impossible to be enlisted in the kingdom. You want a heart transplant? Call on the Lord Jesus. The same way that David said, create in me a clean heart. Let the desire for a clean heart come, but take it to the Lord in prayer. God bless you for listening to today's, listening and watching today's broadcast. The Lord bless you. Desire a transformed heart and trust the Lord to bring it to pass. He will do it. God bless you. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Lenten Reflections. Join us tomorrow for another episode. God bless you.